to be honest, I don't really remember all of the uh, details of it. I just, you know, I'm not a workaholic. I don't like getting up at 4 o'clock in the morning. I might like going to bed at 4 o'clock in the morning, but I didn't feel like they was respecting my time on set. The tension between him and Prince at this point was boiling over. So one day we were in the dressing room, and Morse finally showed up, and Prince got in his face, you know? And Morse shoved him. And inside, I'm like, yeah, you should whoop his ass, you know? But I'm thinking, if we do that, I know Prince. We're done. We're going to be done totally. So I grabbed Morris and put him back. And big chick grabbed Prince. So a lot of cussing going back and forth and stuff. But, uh, you know, Morris also know he needed to do this movie. It's like I know we needed to do it. The two old friends barely needed to act. Their rivalry in real life spilled out onto the screen. At the same time, Prince began to plot the next chapter for his creation, The Time. Finally, Prince got pissed. He, he lost his patience. He went out and found new guys to replace Jam and Lewis, and he brought them into rehearsal, and Morris wasn't even there. Morris wasn't even coming to rehearsal. That was the last nail in the coffin as far as Morris was concerned. And, of course, he went along with the program and did Purple Rain with the new band. But as soon as the film was in the can, they were done. They did one show with that unit, the Purple Rain version at the time, at First Avenue to basically introduce the band. At the end of that show, Morris stormed off the stage. Everybody else went to the dressing room to open up a bottle of beer, whatever. Hey, good show. Morris didn't take his coat off, didn't stop and say a word to the band. He walked down the steps, through that room, into his car, and left. And that was it. That was, that was it. The film was released in the middle of summer during the heyday of straight funk, 1984, and won an Academy Award for Best Original Song. The best reviews may have been for the character Prince had dreamed up first, his nemesis in the film and in real life, Morris Day. I did well with in the movie, so, you know, that was my revenge. Morris Day escaped the character after Purple Rain and went solo. He also kept acting, or at least he was offered more parts to play cool. The original members of the time got back together in 1990 and scored a hit with Jerk Out. But the magic of the era of straight funk was gone. Nearly 30 years after his breakup with Prince, they reunited for one last show. You know, two years ago he calls us and he says, I want you guys to come and do a show. I'm like, dude, send me the money first. So. He sent the money. I was like, okay. So anyway, we do the show, and Prince was in the audience. You know, he partied. He blew kisses to the stage, and he laughed, and all of that. And then after the show, I'm walking around Paisley Park, and I pass this dark-ass hallway, and um, I hear this clapping, like... And true to form, Prince walks out of the shadows, and he's like, bravo, bravo. You still got it. And we sat and we talked and... <laughs> he gave me a hug. He said, I love you. He's never said that. And that was the last time I saw him. Prince Rogers Nelson died of an accidental overdose at Paisley Park, his home in Minneapolis, on April 21st, 2016. He was 57 years old. This song is dedicated to my friend and brother, Prince Rogers Nelson. Part of me left you. 